isn't it funny how the left-wing media is constantly accusing the right-wing media of being fever swamp conspiracy theorists, despite the fact that they themselves are constantly concocting conspiracy theories? Well, we have another funny but stupid example today from MSNBC's answer to Alex Jones, Chris Hayes, a guy that looks like the inspiration for the cannibal in Sin City. So this all started a few days ago during one of Trump's task force briefings, where the president set the bar for success at 100K deaths. So if we do a number that's tremendously smaller than that, now if we did close it up, the numbers got to 100 to uh, 220 million people. So. If we can stay substantially under the 100, which was the original projection, uh, I think we all did a very good job. Even though it's a lot of people. So then a few days later, Dr. Fucci and Bricks revised their numbers, their predictions, down to 60K. Since, theoretically, this would reflect well on the administration, all the so-called journalists out there have to explain it away by concocting conspiracy theories and then present them as legitimate reporting. After the good news about a lower death toll, Chris Hayes couldn't resist giving his professional analysis. The most cynical interpretation of all this, one I can't quite bring myself to accept, is they rolled out the model showing 100,000 deaths after they knew it would be less than that. So they could anchor everyone to that number and take a victory lap when only tens of thousands died. First off, tens of thousands have died from the flu several years running under the Obama administration. And not only did Chris Hayes not care, but nobody really paid attention. Does Chris Hayes have any idea how many people die every year from heart disease? So yeah, going from the doomsday predictions of multiple hundreds of thousands down to 60K or less is quite good. But I also don't see anybody taking any victory laps. That's just more proof of Chris Hayes' deep bias. We'll get right back to exposing this latest media con job, but first I have an important message for all my viewers. The world we live in today is in flux, filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves, long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Second, is he accusing Dr. Bricks and Dr. Fucci of somehow being in on this conspiracy to make Trump look good? Really? Neither of them seem like people who would go along with such a scheme. A scheme, by the way, that would also have to involve the CDC. Yeah, okay, remember this the next time they accuse Trump of not listening to the experts. Unbelievably, or maybe not so much, there were some people on Twitter supporting this tweet. How about this Florida Democrat candidate for Congress? She must be a complete moron because she thinks Trump dreamed these numbers up instead of it actually being from the experts. This, if five people died as a result of his lies and incompetence, it is an outrage. Not letting this clown move the goalposts. Sorry. <laughs> Trump moved no goalposts. These predictions are from the experts, you idiot. Or how about Josie Duffy Rice, who said, 100% correct, and more cynically, not a bad political strategy. A terrible strategy for the human soul, but that ship has sailed. Not a bad political strategy? This is all literally a fantasy that was dreamed up in your damaged brains. Or how about the co-creator and executive producer of Medical Police on Netflix? That was quite honestly what I assumed was happening from the start. He's a used car salesman at heart, and he's negotiating to a number he can live with. I just... <laughs> I can't even get over the fact that these people don't understand that it's not Trump coming up with these projections. These models are created by the so-called experts. The same experts that you self-loving dipshits keep saying Trump isn't listening to. So it wasn't all support for his tweet. And in fact, now that I'm looking, he's getting ratioed pretty badly. And he's trying to weasel out of it by saying, I said I can't bring myself to accept it. But he's been very, very weird about coming in under the model in this unnerving disassociation 
associated way. You think it's weird that he wants the total amount of deaths to come in at a lower number? What's weird is how you so-called journalists seem to want the number to be much higher. What Hayes is doing here is manufacturing paranoia where we don't need it right now. So here we have a so-called journalist spreading misinformation and conspiracy theories on Twitter, and we know that if he was from Fox News, there would be a national uproar from all the media outlets, but instead it's predictably quiet. Even Mediate.com writers have taken notice with Caleb Howe pointing out what we all know too well. Quote, this incident did not provoke widespread dragging or condemnation from others in the media. As in, the kind of firestorm such a conspiracy theory tweet would engender were Hayes from a different network. He's referring to Fox News' Brett Hume, who's currently being savaged in the media and on Twitter for supposedly spreading misinformation by claiming death toll numbers were being overinflated. Reading Twitter, people are straight up wishing for Brett Hume to die. But it's crickets when it comes to the left-wing propagandist Chris Hayes. Just a side note, The Hollywood Reporter did a drooling puff piece on this 16th place bottom of the barrel hack on the exact same day that Hayes posted this tweet, saying, It weighs on me tremendously. Very few people in the world ever in the history of human beings on the planet have ever had the scale of platform that I have. You're ranked 16th place. You have nothing but a left-wing media bubble circle jerk. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell as well so you're alerted to all my new content. If you agree with my mission and you'd like to support this channel, you can do so on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching, keep coming back.